Morning, church. Uh, Pastor Brandon back with you this morning as we jump into 1 John. I'm going to pick up in verse 4 where we ended yesterday where John says, we write this to make our joy complete. So he's writing this out of love for the church there in Ephesus and, and for the people that are in that church and, and for, uh, for us even now. I don't think he was thinking about me, but I read this now and I think, man, would it make his joy complete if we hear these words and apply them to our lives as individuals and especially as a church? So let's pick up in verse 5. This is the message we have heard from him, speaking of Christ, and now we're going to declare to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. Now I want to talk about the light because the next tomorrow morning we're going to talk about the claim about sin. All right. But today we're going to focus on the light. And here's what I want you to know as I read this. This is what I think. This is Brandon's opinion. And I've done a little bit of study, and so it's, it's some really smart guys as well. I just don't remember their names. But the reality is, is when, when he's talking about when we're in God, there is no darkness. He's saying that we have walked into the truth, and we're really going to lean into that on day three or four. But there, we're really into the truth. We've exposed everything in our life because God has exposed it. So now we're in the light. And everything that we've given to Christ in submission to Him, He's covered there in verse 7 through His blood. He purifies us from all of that sin that was in our life. So we have, we have the confidence to walk into the presence of God who is light and exposes all of who we are. And now that we're fully exposed, we can be free. We don't have to hide things from God. We don't have to lie about our sin. We can walk in the light. And so when we walk in the light, it says if we claim to have fellowship with Him, yet walk in darkness. In other words, if we're claiming to be God's children, and yet we're trying to keep stuff hidden over in the dark, then He says, then we lie, and we don't live out our truth. You see, in our culture, there's this thing called my truth, and in the media, you hear people talking about narratives. You see, neither one of those are truth. There's no such thing as my truth. All truth is God's truth, all right? And so as we're going to live under God, we're going to live in His truth, which means we're going to expose everything in our lives to Him. And as we walk in that light, we begin to be free. We begin to be set free from all that stuff that we've allowed to keep us in the dark. And God wants to set us free from that. And He does that, as He says there in verse 7, through the blood of Jesus. He's purified us through all His sin. That's why this completes John's joy for us to read this, because we begin to understand the gospel more, that God sent His Son so that we could actually walk freely in the light. And we're going to talk about sin tomorrow.